Many musicians want a career once they decide to chart a course on the musical path of mystery. The problem is many won't make it. And because they're not going to make it, it's going to leave many feeling lost and defeated as to why they tried in the first place, only just to fail. Right. But at what? Because music is rooted in all elements that are spiritual first before we bring them to the material world. OK, so if you're doing it for the love of just the love itself, the feeling ain't going to work. If you're doing it for the money and the fame, we're going to have some problems. So on those notes, we're going to hop in today's episode of the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. Let's jump right in. Okay, Music Money Makers, this is many of you all right here when you're starting. Doing it for the love. Doing it for the love creates a hobby. Don't take offense to this, it does. It keeps some busy and for others, it's a form of expression that helps them release the pressures of life. But ultimately, love keeps your music sacred, which is why people who love their music alone never allow these songs to see the light of day or never really promote them. It's like a diary to you, right? So because it's that way, you're going to keep it locked away in that hard drive. It just is what it is. Now, check this out. This is almost everybody that surpasses the love aspect. Doing it for the money. Doing music for the money is the quickest way to run your career into the ground. Listeners want to hear your love of the music you made through the music. And to be honest, we can hear the love of the music through the music. Money will not make you love your creations. It will make you prostitute them. So doing it for money alone will make you quit because you can't seem to figure out how to survive on the music within 12 months of your first release. So let's say you put in years and years of work and then you put it out and it's like, man, I want people to hear it and hear the love I put in. But I also need money to, to survive on this thing. If you're looking for the music to help you survive out the gate and you're looking for it to give you a decent return because of all the years you put in, you're looking in the wrong places. I was a guy who did things for the money and it was incredibly difficult to understand why it wasn't enjoyable. I also wasn't doing it for the love either. The love had slid out of the way and I put money on top. You get what I'm saying? But, you know, I mean, it yielded some things I'm going to talk about later. Now, doing it for the fame. I never did it for the fame. I didn't care. But doing music for the fame will only cause you to prostitute yourself at the quickest rate possible. You will more than likely do anything for money including music that you don't agree with, losing all of your morals in the process. As you can see, these three will quickly destroy your chances of having a career before you start and, and possibly a, end up a good, long, independent career. I'm going to say that because we know people who get on the other side of the wall and they do anything for money. Now, what should you do for music? You should do music for a reason, a reason that advances your growth and the growth of the general public. Why? When music generates upward growth, you become a better person and the public becomes better because of your music, which causes them to give you money and ultimately elevates your level of fame. This gives meaning and a sense of being for your career. Read that again if you need it. This is what you should do for your music. Now, look, how do you find a reason and meaning for your career? Because I know that's what you're asking. You have to decide that the outcome of producing music will overcome a certain challenge for you and then a certain challenge for the public for every song. This gives you fuel, okay, to keep the car moving forward, okay? The outcome that you and the public will get, that overcoming that challenge, that's your fuel. Now, love, money, and fame are like oil changes to keep the engine in good shape. Now, you run out of oil and you run out of gas and your car is total. That engine is gone. You run out of fuel, you can get more fuel which is more challenges, right? You got new challenges to overcome. The love, the money, and the fame. Like you run out of that, if you run out of love, you run out of money, or you don't have any notoriety, I'm gonna call it that for the sake of this example, then the car is done, over with. That car runs out of oil, the engine locks up, it's over with. You can always get new challenges, but you can't run out of the other three that we talked about. But you can't solely do it on, on the other three because it won't work. Car can't run on oil by itself. We need gas. We need challenges. So what is this challenge you speak of? For you, it could be writing a song with better lyrics or pushing the envelope of your sound to evolve, betting on yourself and daring yourself to do so. In this aspect, the consumer can hear the effort and the love put into the music. And this makes them love it because you love yourself enough 
to push the boundaries of your expression. Now for the public, it's making, here's the kicker. It's making music to help them sing in their car during five o'clock traffic or get through a breakup or any negative obstacles that get them through the day. All of this is rooted in love overcoming an obstacle. It's rooted in love, but that love helps you overcome the obstacle. Now, if you can do that for the general public, which is why you may say, like I've said it on this channel before, like if you have someone who makes music for the strip club, that music is helping someone work to get out of a situation who knows how dark the situation may be. It is also helping the DJ work, but this stuff is confined. It sh I feel like the music should be confined to those areas and not put out in the general public. You have some music that helps people work out better. You have some music that is at a certain tempo to help people run. People who roller skate need music at a certain tempo to rock out and to, sk to skate to. You get what I'm saying? All music doesn't work in the skating rink. You know what I'm saying? You got people who actually skateboard that need a certain type of music. You get what I mean? Like there's types of music that help people in their situations. And that is the challenge. So you want to make the best music possible for those situations. So people keep coming back. Go look at the video on, you know, how to make musical crack. I speak of some of this. You get what I'm saying? Here's what I did to fuel my passion and love of making money with the music. I built something for you. So if you're a songwriter, an artist, a music producer, or a music business exec who wants to get their foot in the door of this music industry and build a foundation for it in 60 days or less without searching all over the internet for the how-tos, I built something called a 60 day record label course just for you getting everything done in 60 days or less flat, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a robust company within this course, right? We're going to learn how to play the game via contract so you're not getting screwed out here on the block when you're slanging your music, okay? And on top of that, you'll be able to collect your international and your domestic record and publishing royalties at the same time. You're gonna learn all of this and put all of this together in 60 days with straight instruction, no fluff. And if you trip through it, you can always book a call with me. I'll help you through it, all right? But all that stuff you see right down below is included. The course is right down below this video. But grab the free stuff below if this is your first time watching the channel, 10 major steps to increase your record label's profits. A free split sheet is included with that download. Now, define your reason for creating. Let's get into it. The music will get way better. You'll begin to build more leverage into your career, which will cause you to make bigger strides upward into public notoriety. As you begin to promote better music, people will say, yo, you gotta hear this dude, or you gotta hear this this lady. This is this is dope. Like you, I need to share this right now. You know what I mean? But if you never define a means for doing music selflessly, you'll stay stagnant. Your career won't last long and you'll ultimately become bitter about the gift that you chose to develop perversely. Like you'll begin to hate the music. Man, I can't believe I spent all this time on it, man. People ain't, do, they don't do nothing but rob you in the game and all of that. And that's not always the case. There's plenty of robbers and stealers in this music game, but everybody ain't out to rob you. You know what I mean? So you'll ultimately become bitter and you'll blame everybody else for the fact that you were going about this music thing selflessly. So we don't want to be here. We want to be right here. All right. All right, music money makers. So if you were struggling to find a reason for doing this music or meaning to it or just struggling to get the fruits from your music, you can now see some of the elements that you might have been putting in the way of actually getting those fruits. And you now have the means to actually understand what you need to fix in your process. So music money makers, if you make music, you should always make money. Log on to musicmoneymakeover.com. Jump into the 60 day record label course. Book a call there. Download the free stuff below and I'll see you next time. Peace.